Oh, this is terrible. This is this is a terrible disaster. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. They're like piranha. -i. Oh my gosh. I don't want to... Uh, uh. everybody welcome back to another episode of arc that's no longer fear evolved sad face so i was actually getting together like all these gravestones and pumpkins and scarecrows and i had this like little graveyard going and i was going to show you guys and it was going to be amazing and awesome and then i logged in the next day and everything was gone oh so much for that oh well so then I decided that I was going to make myself feel better by shooting some most chops in the face with some trank darts to get, you know, the rest of my egg farm going. But then I found out that it's a passive team, so I just, I just have to stick things up its butt instead. So that is actually what I'm going to be working on today, getting the egg farm going. And, and I might get a little bit more into finding the uh, artifacts. Ooh, is that an egg? No, it's just poop. Thanks for pooping. Gosh. So with the artifacts, they're pretty much found in the caves all over this, you know, map. And I am going to make a GPS that way you could see it. Like the, the cave entrances, that is. And so you're able to find them yourself too. And so that's pretty much going to be a lot in itself, you know, cave hunting and getting most chops, getting the farm. So I am going to take the RG to do the most chops collecting, um, just because I feel like playing on Madam today. She's able to actually pick up the most chops, so that's all right. And... I only have tamed most chops on a modded server and, you know, there's some cheaty things to do that with. So I was reading to see what it is that I was going to need to tame um, most chops normally. I need you to get out of the way, please. And um, I found out that with the passive tame, it actually rotates between um, different things that I would like to eat for each cycle. So I'm like, well, that's going to be interesting. How am I supposed to know? So it gave this huge list. And actually, it's on the ARC wiki. And you guys could just look it up. I don't need to, to link that. So I'm going to take exactly what it says. So a barberry, a sulberry, cooked lamb chops. I only have seven of those. So hopefully they won't be eating them. Cooked meat. Um, I might need to make some more... Uh, cooked prime fish meat, so we'll only take a little bit of that. Cooked meat jerky, I only have a little bit of that too. Cooked prime meat, got it. Oh man, giant bee honey, alright, well I'm going to have to check on my honey farm to see how that's going. And then it says leech blood, and I don't have that at all, so hopefully, what is this? Do you guys see the, what is, what is that? It doesn't look like an egg at all. Like, what did they do? It almost looks like, like the, a giant pearl sitting on a rock or something. That's interesting. Okay, anyways. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to collect the rest of the things. Because there's a pretty long list. So I would make sure that... You have every single thing that it's asking for, just in case, because, you know, of course you're going to cycle to that one thing that you don't have. So I have everything except for, a, as I'm looking at this list, organic polymer in leech blood. So I am really, really hoping, oh, and rare flower, so I'll have to get some more of those. I'm really hoping it doesn't cycle to the things that I don't have. That, that would be really great, right? Alright, so we're just going to get right into this. I'm going to get this, go collect some sap, go collect some honey just in case, and hope for the best. 
All right, grabbing my first most chops. We don't necessarily need to have them in a taming pen if they're passive, but I am keeping this one to really close and not have to wander all over the map. Okay, so see this, of course, giant bee honey, the thing I don't have. <sighs> okay, you know what? Maybe I'll put you back and grab a different one. Go get your giant bee honey somewhere else. I've got nothing for you. Okay, so here's another one. I'm actually gonna look to see what it wants first before I take it over there. And rare flowers. Ugh, I didn't grab those yet either. Oh my, this is already starting an adventure, isn't it? All right, so I went and I got some bee honey just to have some on hand. Whoa, what's that? Am I getting attacked? I was thinking it's because the bees are still trying to get to me. Ha ha, you can't get to me. Anyways, so the reason why I was hesitant about getting the honey was that um, the... The timer, I mean, look, it's like 18 minutes and like, let's see if I put it on the bird. How long it is it? An hour. I guess that's all right. I'll go and get some more and then I'm going to go grab some rare flowers because so far it's been giant bee honey and rare flowers for the most chops. The struggle is real. The struggle is very real. All right, I think... I think we found another one, man. It's like, when you're looking for something, you can't find one of them. But when you're not looking for them, they're everywhere. And I mean everywhere. So, let's see, what do you want? I'm trying to go for the low level ones. Okay, so cooked prime meat, I have that. Um, I'm not gonna bother with the taming pen this time. I was trying to go for the low level ones uh, because I don't want to, like, have to use a whole lot of resources every time. Okay. Oh! My gosh! That was super easy and amazing! Huh. Thank you. Thank you for not making it difficult. I appreciate you. Alright, so, and you're female. So, I'm going to do the kind of, like, the same thing that I was going to do for the Therizinosaurus. And I was going to have one male and five females. So I'm going to keep going around collecting them. And well, I still need one more Therizinosaurus because the Ark game decided I didn't need any more in the last episode. So yeah, I'm just going to keep collecting and then move on. So now I finally have my little army of most chops that actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to be. And randomly, they pretty much all the same color. Except for like two of them. It was just, I didn't make it happen, I swear. It just worked out that way. Anyways, um, so now I'm going to work on getting Hesperonuses or Hesperonus, however you pronounce that, next. And it looks like they're going to be easy to tame too because it, you just have to kill a fish and bring it to it. So we'll see how that works out. And then after the Hesperonus, blah, 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 then that is all that I need for my egg farm. Well, minus the one more Therizinosaurus. And I decided that I'm going to add one more mod in my almost modless vanilla server. And that is for egg and poop collecting. Not so much the poop, but definitely need it for the egg collecting it's just because when I'm out and about and I'm going to be looking for all these artifacts yes you don't normally have to worry about the timer for the um picking up the egg because it does you know have a pretty good timer going by but I don't want to miss any of them especially since it usually takes a pretty long time so I'm going to get an egg collector I'm going to add it in the game eventually here very soon and um, then have that collect the eggs while I'm out looking for artifacts. And so 
Another thing, I need to actually go over to the ARC and I need to write down and notate exactly what it is that I'm going to need to get into the bosses. I know there's other items that I need to collect as well. So I'm going to um, make my way over here real quick and then see what we have. All right, so I'm here at this one. I don't think it really matters which one you access. I think they're all the same now. It used to be where, you know, like each color was like a different level, I, I think. Um, okay, so let's see here. So the easy, medium, and hard. So obviously we're going to ease into it. We're going to do the easy version first. So those are all the artifacts that I'm going to need. So it doesn't look like I'm actually going to need any items, just straight artifacts. And uh, for medium, you know, looks like there's Argentavis Talons, Bab or no, Basilosaurus Blubber, Megalania Toxin, Megalodon Tooth, Sarco Skin. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff for that. And then what about this one? Oh, it's like the same amount of thing or same thing, but it looks like these you need ten of those items, and this you need twenty five of those items. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of collecting. All right, so I'm gonna write this down, notate it, and then I'm gonna look for uh, my first Hesperonis, and let's see how we can tame it. All right, so I found some Hespers. That's what I'm gonna call them for now, since I have a hard time pronouncing their name. So, at the first one isn't gonna matter if it's male or female. So I'm gonna look under here and see. Oh, that's really cold. Uh. So I just need to kill a fish and then bring it to there. I might actually wait until it's not freezing outside because oh, look at their little paddle feet. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Oh my God. Oh, look at him, he's going fast. Oh, you're gonna get a fish? Nope, you failed. I caught that on camera. Anyways, I think I'm gonna wait until um, it's not Reading and not nighttime, and then try again, or not again, but actually try, because I don't want to be under there while I'm dying, trying to get a fish. So yeah. All right, so it's daylight enough. Let's see how freezing the temperature is. Eh, it's a little cold. Okay. But survivable. Alright, so now the first thing I need to do is actually find a fish to kill. Can I kill you? Are you going to attack me back? No! Come back here! Take my stabbing! Oh! He started attacking back! Ah! Oh my gosh! Sorry if that was loud. I did not know that they could attack back. Oh! Uh, no! He's, the, oh, this is terrible. This is, this is a terrible disaster. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. They're like piranha. -i. Oh my gosh. I don't want to. Uh, okay. Is that all of them? Okay. And in the meantime, the Hesperer came over and ate one of them. So let's see if it'll still let me actually feed him. Oh, and I'm out of stamina already. Okay. Let's do this. Can I feed you? Oh, yep, okay. Oh, and I'm getting attacked. Take that. Okay. Are we good now? Are we good? All right, let me see if I grab some more. How long is it gonna take for these to actually expire? I wonder. And I wonder how many uh, minutes is it going to take? Why are you eating them by yourself? I want to feed you. Did that say a 10 minute timer? Okay. So far this is going alright. I mean, it says 30 minutes to 
decompose. Okay, let me see if I can get it from below. Put it up your butt. Quietly. 30 seconds. Okay. Let me get over here and get some stamina. I might have to go and get more of them. What level is this guy? He's like level 12. Where'd you go? Are you good now? Four seconds. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and get more. I wonder if you get like too far, it's not going to like... See, but the thing is, he's eating up by himself, too, so that doesn't help. Um, I might have to go over there. Can I feed you? Whoop. And I saw that sometimes they actually get a little bit territorial and start attacking you. So I'm trying to not to, like, be annoying to it right now. Okay, so we're at, what is that, 50 something percent, 60 percent, okay. So I ran out of fishies over here, so am I going to have to go over here and get fishies? Maybe they don't care too much for the, the big salmons. Let me try killing one of these guys instead. Is there no piranha around here? Okay. Yeah. All right. Better for me just to run on the land over there. I said run. I guess I can't run. Okay. I'll walk over there. Just don't start going down with your taming effectiveness. Do you like this better? Not really. What is attacking me again? Oh, piranha. Oh, can I feed you? Okay. Still can't run with these. Come back here. I got some fishies. Don't leave it because he'll eat it. Oh my gosh, this bloody carcass in my face. No. Come back here. Feed fish. Oh, he didn't mind the piranha that much. Alright. I am desperate to find fishies right now. So far, I think this is going pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Depends on your definition of good. I guess I could have went back over there. Do kind of like a test to see like if I, how f if I go far, whoa, piranhas. Give me all these piranhas, yeah. All right. I wish I could run with this, man. It's, I mean, it's just a fish. How much does it actually weigh? Are you all the way over there now? I hope this is you. Because if you're all the way over there, man. I'll have to go back and get some more of this piranha. Uh, this is definitely it looks like a different color. Where'd it go? It just like disappeared. Are you ready for me now? Here, please don't have your TV percentage go down. Okay. 
Let's see. I'm going to try getting more fishies over here. It's pooped in the water. Come here. How many seconds left? 13 seconds. You're actually a pretty color. I like the blue. Of course, a piranha has to attack me. Oh, it did it really? Seriously, the piranha eat my fish. My fish. Okay, where is okay? Can you take this? Alright. You are almost done. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys like the rest of this, but uh for the other ones I won't do them on camera. I just wanted to show you that the struggle is real with these guys, it seems. So yeah, just prepare, be prepared to spend some time doing this for each one of them. This guy's only a level 12. Where did he go? Okay. Is this going to be your last fishy, I hope? Come here! I got some nice tasty fish for you! As long as the piranha doesn't eat it out of my hands. Ugh, still needs more. I, I need stamina first. Stamina, go faster. Uh, now that it's raining, is it going to be too cold? Okay. Uh, there's fish over there. It's going to take me forever, man. Okay. Hopefully, like, the taming percentage doesn't go down after you're taking too long in between feedings. I guess we'll have to find out, because it seems like I'm taking forever to get over to these fishies, and then I still have to make it back to, you know, the bird. If I can find it again. Because it, it, this guy likes to, like, go all over the place. I hope he doesn't attack my bird. Or get irritated that it's there. <gasps> you did not! Darn it! It keeps eating fish out of my hands! Okay. Last one. Nope. Ah, uh, no. This piranha need to leave me alone. Let me just go about my business, okay? Alright, so we got one more fish. Hopefully the taming percentage didn't go down too far. And we'll see. Ah! It didn't go down, but... Well, maybe it did. No, I still need another fish. Wow. Alright, is this going to be the last one? I got another piranha for you. Let's see. Yay! 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 That took forever. Yay. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at the colors. That is super pretty. Oh, my gosh. Got a little alfalfa curl. Okay. I'm going to kill this one because... 
you're just standing there and it makes me nervous around my new pretty okay so I feel like one of the problems I was having was that there there was too much time in between gather, getting the fishes so this this is gonna be a little bit tricky I mean I'm gonna have to keep trying I mean I I can't really like not do it because I do need these this these are the easiest out of the ones that I've seen so far for the eggs that I'm gonna need it are you on my shoulder oh look at it I got a little shoulder buddy oh and it flaps its little wings oh my gosh that is oh is it rubbing its head oh it's nibbling on my ear oh okay I'm done now <laughs> um yeah I mean now I just need five more of those with females, but at least, you know, I know that it's just on my shoulder. Okay, so I'm making an executive decision. The reason why I needed the Hesperonises was to get uh, kibble for the uh, Euteranises, because I'm going to need two of them for my army to go against the bosses. And my executive decision is the Uteranuses do not need kibble because I am not going to be standing here forever trying to get Hesperonuses. There's way too many hazards, you know, besides obviously the uh, cold of the water, but there's Piranha, there's Megalodons, there's like all these things, Baryonyxes that kept trying to eat me while I'm taming these things. And the thing is, like, one fish is barely even, like, 10%. So it's just taking way too long, even for a low level, a level 5. So I have already tamed um, two of them. So, you know, I'll, I'll get what I can out of that. But uh, what the heck are you doing, buddy? I want you up here. Thank you. So I, I yeah, I'm I'm just skipping the whole Hesperonis thing for the egg farm and I'm going to say, whoa, what's going on with the lights there? Is it because of the storm? Yeah, so uh X day on the Hesperonis say, so yes. I'm moving on. So I'm back at my base and I wanted to show you guys that I did put the egg and poop collector mod into here. And I look how amazing this looks. I think that looks pretty cool. I feel like I'm technologically advanced now. And it's it's already collecting, which is alright. And then I have in here another one in the herbivore pen. And then I have one in the carnivore pen because I want to make sure that I got everybody covered. And so I got my army of most traps here. My, uh, I don't know if you want to call it army, but the best I could do for Hesperonises. And, oh, it looks like it's actually collecting the cementing paste from the Akatina that I have. Um, so, and then I have one more over here. Let's see if there's anything on there yet. So I think right now is kind of like the waiting game. So now we just kind of have to wait to get this kibble. Of, it's collecting donut eggs over here too. Interesting. Okay. So this has got a pretty wide range if it's collecting the dodo eggs. Look at that sunlight on that beautiful red trim over there. That was beautiful. Anyways, so um, now that I have that, and it's going to be collecting the eggs while I'm out and about and I also have you know um, the preserving bins I still have them going for the jerky that I'm going to need to make the kibble um, the beehive honey oh my gosh you guys gotta see this they are really cooking it up look at this that's a lot man and it, honestly it hasn't even been that long so I'm like alright I'm gonna make more another beehive when I get enough and then we'll have like double capacity and then I probably make two more beehives over here to have four total and then got the sap going over there too so everything right now is just cooking up and I also wanted to show you guys I have a new addition to the family and it wasn't even on purpose 
this egg apparently hatched while I was just doing things. I come over here, there's a little baby in here. And it started to die, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save you a little baby. So, I put some food on it, and it became juvenile, like, just recently, like, after that. And then I didn't have to worry about it anymore, because once it hits juvenile stage, it starts eating out of the trough, and I don't have to worry about having to keep feeding it. But I named it number one, just because he's our firstborn out of, like, breeding. And that was kind of a, a little surprise. So now I have my GPS. I'm going to start collecting artifacts. So now that everything is just cooking up and we're getting the kibble process going and the egg farm is going. So now we're going to move on to finding artifacts. Um, and I'm going to find the specific ones that I need for um, the easy boss to start with. And then we'll start collecting the other stuff in a different episode. So let's get to finding the artifacts. Woo! -hoo. Well, back at my base. This day has just been nothing full of fails and bad luck. So uh, I was going to my first cavern to get the first artifact on my list. And uh, for some reason, I got dismounted from my Quetzal. I for I wasn't able to get back on her and I didn't know exactly what was going on. I as you can see I removed everything off the saddle so I could take it off and put it back on her and it was still wasn't able to fly. And then I realized apparently she's too she was too close to the cavern entrance. And I thought I had the flyers, you know, able to go into caves thing enabled, but I guess it's not working. And I'm going to have to double check that. So that's okay. You know, Ark, you can keep pushing me down, but I'm just going to get right back up and I'm going to keep on keeping on. So there, take that. And so I decided that I'm just going to end the episode here and make the entire episode, next episode, um, where I'm going around looking for the um, artifacts. So I can show you the locations of the GPS, show you how amazing they look, and also have the very beginnings of my army to be prepared. I mean, look at me. I was totally prepared to kick that cavern's butt, but that's okay. Things happen. So if you like this episode, even though it was full of fail, give me that thumbs up button. If you want to see more episodes that are not as big of fails, then subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you know when my video actually drops. And have a good day or evening wherever you are. Bye!